Hey, what's going on guys? Sean or Mustang09 and Courtney. Hello. We have a new part to install today on the F250. But first, I have to make mention, check out this gear, bro. We're looking fly right now. Got the new hat, got the new shirts. We even have them in white, ranging from sizes small to 2XL. So they're live on the website now if you want to support me. Uh, I know it's not truck related merch, and Courtney can attest to this. I'm working on it. Uh, I've gotten a few designs drawn up. Uh, nothing I've actually fallen in love with yet. So once I find one that I really, really like, we'll release that. But if you want to support your boy, you can do it now. Uh, we have the, the racing gear, and I figured the hats were a nice touch, you know? If you're ever at the track, you take your helmet off, you got, you got helmet hair, uh, you can throw this hat on and look fly. Uh, it's just black on the back, so it's kind of a, a talking piece. It doesn't really say Mustang on it, so you uh, Camaro guys or you Dodge guys, uh, you Corvette guys, all you can wear it. It's just you got a beard and you race. We're calling this the uh, bearded racer line. So live now on the website, Moostango9.com. Link in description. Check it out. The part that you guys came to see today is this new cluster right here. This is the 8-inch cluster that comes on a Platinum, a King Ranch, and Limited, and I think some Lariats have them. I don't know if all Lariats came with this one, but it's a lot nicer than the one that's in the XL and the XLT. You have new options with this. Uh, you can monitor more things on the screen. It just kind of looks fancier in the truck. It doesn't look so outdated as the small one like I have. Super simple to install. This one came from Clusters by Living It Up. Uh, Dave over there. Super nice guy. We had a few difficulties getting it in the mail. Uh, the, the screen was cracked on the first one that I got. Uh, I let Dave know it was his first time using the shipping method and he made it all right, man. He overnighted me the new screen, um, took care of me, walked me through everything. Just super, super good guy. Uh, not paid to say any of this. I spent my own money on this piece. It was 700 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description as well for his website if you're interested in doing this upgrade. Uh, he programs the engine hours, the miles, the idle hours. So you have everything you need to know um, about your truck on your new cluster. It'll match exactly. You guys can see that. That is my engine information. So we have 25.95 on the engine hours. Idle hours is 8.27. And then our odometer is 66, 316.6. What we'll do now is work on getting the old one out, which it's a series of pulling off some plastic trim pieces. And then I think there's six screws and one plug and you're good to go. So I'll hand the, the camera over to Courtney. She's gonna help me record and we'll get started. First step of the process is to pull this down. Now I use an actual key for my truck. So if you have the push start button, uh, you do the same thing. You're just gonna pry from the back and pull forward over on the other side we'll do the same right here we will just pry forward and it'll fall down we will make sure it comes all the way easy as that so you've got one two three and then the same on the other side three on the other side with the shroud now out of the way we have one bolt on the right side and then another one on the left. Those are both seven millimeters. So we'll just remove those really quick. And I would suggest you not use an impact on these. Uh, they're just holding plastic pieces in. So you really don't want to put too much torque behind it. You'll, uh, could mess some stuff up, strip it out possibly. Next part of the process is to remove the shroud that goes around the cluster. Um, you have to pull from here and here and it'll come forward. Alrighty, so we're gonna pull on this front piece here. Let's work one side at a time. There's a clip down here. There'll be one on the other side as well. Just so you know where to apply the pressure, the opposite pressure, and then this will come free. Down inside of here, there are two separate pieces. So we need to separate this outer shell from this inner shell that has this little leather piece on it so we will uh, push with our thumb here and it'll separate boom same for the other side so now the outer shell is free okay guys at this point you're almost done with your removal of your stock cluster you have one screw up top one screw down low on the left side and then you have the same on the right side one screw up top and then one screw down low. 
next bit's gonna be a little bit annoying because I have to put this thing down into first gear so that we can get our shifter out of the way because it's now time to remove the stock cluster. So I'm gonna put the thing in accessory mode. I'm gonna drop it down into first. My parking brake is engaged. Um, it's just gonna beep a lot. So here we go, we'll try and make it quick. We will pull this guy out and towards us. And then we have one plug in the back here. It has a release on the top right there. And it comes out. The beeping's gone because we have no cluster in. So here's our old cluster. Oh, I need to put my hat back on. And the reveal. I gotta do the uh, the marketing. I gotta have my hat back on. So there is our old cluster right there compared to our new cluster right here. Oh boy. You ready? We're gonna plug it in. All right, I'll let you guys see it first. Let me plug. Plug it in, plug it in. Who remembers those commercials? Oh, oh man. There it goes, now it's beeping again. So what we're gonna do, we'll shove this thing back where it belongs. Get back up in there. Make sure it lines up right. Perfect, and it has, um, I'll see if I can show you guys real quick. Let me put this thing back in the park so it stops complaining. Wow, it's really dirty behind the cluster. I apologize about that. Not really something you can clean, so. Uh, what you'll notice right here is there's a guide, a guide pin, guide rod, whatever you wanna call it, for the cluster to sit back on. There's one on either side, so you can't not align it properly. It's just gonna sit back where it belongs. The screw holes will all match right back up. Just make sure the harness in the rear is pushed back far enough so that the cluster can sit into its place. Now we will do the opposite of the uninstall by reinstalling it with the four screws, putting the shrouds back on, and I'll show that in like a time lapse real quick. But as you guys can tell, 66, 316.6 right there. If we go over to, I don't know where it's at on here. This is crazy engine information. There is the exact same idle hours and engine hours as before. So dude, props to Dave. Everything worked out perfect. Now it's just time to button it up. Let's get this thing done. Look, diesel exhaust fluid. We've got a gauge on here now. Look at the turbo gauge at the top. It looks so cool. I like that you can see the numbers above. Um, so like right now we know the truck's at 68 degrees. Dude, so easy, so easy. Dude, that's amazing. You can go through here. There's This is just so much cooler than what I have. This looks sick. This is like I have a, well, I can't say it's like I have a platinum because then I'll get eaten alive by you guys. But I'm definitely, definitely happy with this decision. Let's start the truck, make sure everything starts and runs. Oh snap, did you see that? Let me show them. Watch this, here we go. Ooh, built for tough. Heck yeah, son. So there we go. And then if you look, I'm pretty sure if I hit this plus button right here, it'll show my gears. Let me put it in. There we go. There you have your gears over here on the side. Thoughts? It looks really good. You're okay with it? I like it. Thank you. Do you like the merch? Yes. Don't I've been, forget. I've secretly been wearing my shirt for weeks now. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the, the we've been waiting on the hats for production on the hats. These are actually, I should say, a limited run. We don't have a ton of them right now, but if we sell out, I'm definitely getting more made. Two sizes, large, extra large. They are the flex fit 
brand. They're the legit flex fits. Um, so large, extra large, small, medium. This was an awesome install. This was super simple. Take you guys 15 minutes. Um, it's a seven millimeter socket and the rest you can do by hand. Makes it super straightforward. Um, like I said before, clusters by living it up, there will be a link in the description below. Once again, not paid for advertising. Uh, I just, my buddy told me about Dave. I hit him up, ordered it just like you guys would. And like I said, we had the little blunder with shipping where the other screen was broke, but Dave made it right. Um, got me the new part out overnight. Not even like one day, half a day. Like I messaged him last night at like six and I had it today by noon, which is insane. So thank you, Dave. Thank you for being a man of your word and having some integrity. Uh, it's super awesome of you. He's out in California and he got it to Texas super quick. Buy you guys some merch. Check it out on the website, mustango9.com. Thank you for checking this video out. And I'll have a link down below with all my socials, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. And then obviously the link in the description for all the mods of the truck. Most of them are Amazon links. They help me out if you click on those and use them. So thank you for doing so. Sean or Mustang 09, we got a sweet new cluster. And you could too. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you boys back here next time. Take it easy. Peace.